Hi, everybody. Gene here. Welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast, where every single week we answer the most common and uncommon questions about tapping an EFT so you can move past the basic recipe to master the art of delivery. You'll learn how to find root causes faster, clear issues quicker, and have longer lasting results with your tapping. Before we jump into the show, I got a special announcement. I'm doing something really fun. Over the course of the next couple of weeks, I am doing a raffle. I am raffling off three individual one-on-one sessions. So you're going to be three people who are going to win an hour of time with me. The raffle is only $10 and there's a number of cool things about the raffle. Number one, every single person who enters into the raffle is going to get three tap along audios. I've recorded new morning, midday, and evening tappings. So even if you don't win, you already win. Number two, All of the money from the raffle is going to go to Kiva. Kiva is an organization that does microloans to small business owners all over the world. It helps out people who are looking for two, three, four, five hundred dollars who would never be able to get funding from a traditional lending institution, but it gives them the opportunity to take care of their family by doing something really small in their business, which has this huge amount of leverage for them. I have been sending money through Kiva for over a decade. Every single month, we take a small percentage of the contributions from the supporters of the Tapping Q&A podcast. We put it into the Kiva account as well. I was looking at my stats, and basically every dollar that I've put into my Kiva account has been loaned out seven times because after it is paid back immediately, we put out a loan again. So you have the opportunity to win some time with me, get some amazing tap along audios and do some good in the world. If you'd like more information, all you need to do is go to tappingqna.com slash raffle. That's tappingqna.com slash raffle. And the raffle is open until December 7th. Thanks for your support. This is Gene Monterostelli. Welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast recorded live to tape from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. This is episode 489, originally aired November 25th, 2020. Hi everyone, I hope this finds you well wherever you are and whatever time of day you're listening to this. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about and tap for disappointment. Before we do that, two quick announcements. Number one, we have a free 10-part guide on how you can use tapping to eliminate self-sabotage. All you need to do is go to tappingqna.com, click on the big blue button, and you can sign up for that free. Second, I would like to thank all of the amazing supporters, the people who voluntarily support the Tapping Q&A podcast. By doing that, they ensure every single week you get these amazing free resources And if you become a supporter, you receive a bunch of free, amazing bonuses. I'd like to thank Annette. Annette is the most recent supporter of the podcast. And by doing that, she's unlocked an entire library of great free resources that are just hanging out in the archive for her with new ones being put there every single month. If you'd like to be like Annette and become a supporter of the podcast, all you need to do is go to tappingqa.com slash support. Last Wednesday, so a week ago from when this was published, um, I had a really hard conversation. And I knew it was going to be a hard conversation before the conversation happened. Back in March, I was approached by a publishing company to write a book about how to use tapping for trauma. And After going back and forth with them for a couple of weeks, we agreed to do the project. Um, Over the course of the next five weeks, I wrote 32,000 words and created a book where I talked about the history of tapping, how it came into be, the science of tapping, why it works, and then went through a number of issues and how you can use tapping to deal with trauma. And about a week before the conversation I had last week, I got an email from my editor who I'd not heard from in a while because they were doing internal stuff. They were working on graphics and book covers and all of that sort of good stuff. And when I received the email from her, I knew it wasn't good news. It just said, hey, let's touch base. And I had heard the month previous that Uh, Close to 100 titles uh, the company had been put on hold just because of the economic factors that were going on in the world. And because the email said, let's touch base, I was assuming the worst and had a conversation with my editor, who was lovely and was not part of the decision making process. And in her words, the book had been put down. Uh, which to say the very least was disappointing because it was something I worked really hard on 
and it's very, very good. And the book is not on hold. I mean, it is on hold, but more than likely it will never see the light of day. And because of the nature of the contract that I signed, and I knew this when I went into it, and it was not like this is a big surprise, um, I do not own the book. I don't own the copyright. And so the book is sitting in some digital file on the server at the publisher, which is where it will probably live forever until the hard drive is corrupted or the cockroaches take over or however the world ends. And it is never going to see the light of day. And so there was quite a bit of disappointment with that particular experience. And as I'm recording this, um, it is Thanksgiving week here in the United States of America. As this is going live, it is Thanksgiving week here in the United States of America. And there's a lot of disappointment in the world right now. Disappointment from people who can't see their loved ones. Um, disappointment because they're missing opportunities. And I'm, I'm sure over the course of the last seven or eight months, there are a number of disappointments that you have faced because of things that you could not do, opportunities that have been lost because all that is going on in the world. And so today what we're going to do is we're just going to spend some time tapping for that sense of disappointment. So just tap on the side of the hand for me. Take a nice big deep breath. And just move from tapping point to tapping point repeating after me. I feel really disappointed. Because I am missing an opportunity. Because I'm missing an experience. because I am missing an outcome I really wanted. I was so looking forward to this. It was something I was really going to enjoy. And I can't do it right now. And that hurts. And the reason why it hurts is because my system is pointing out something that was really important to me. My system is pointing out the missed opportunity. My system is pointing out the missed growth that could have happened. And it's okay to feel disappointment. It's okay to recognize hopes that have not been realized. I'm glad that I actually have hopes. I'm glad I had things to look forward to. It hurts not to have those expectations fulfilled. It hurts to know those opportunities are lost. But this is not the last opportunity I'm going to have. This is not the last experience that is good for me. This is not the last time I'm going to have hopes and expectations. I give myself permission to experience the disappointment. To acknowledge the things that are being missed. To 
to acknowledge the future opportunities that have been lost because I lost this particular moment. But that does not mean I'm stuck here. That does not mean that there are no longer things to look forward to. It does not mean I will always feel this way. I give myself permission to feel the disappointment. And to know that there is still hope. Nice deep breath. I think it's important for us to tap on disappointment for two reasons. The first reason it's really important that we tap for disappointment is we don't want to feel the disappointment. That makes sense. But the second reason I think is just as important that if we stay stuck in disappointment too long, we're teaching ourselves that we shouldn't have hope because if we have hope then our hopes are dashed and then we end up in pain and we can teach ourselves that having hopes and having desires is a bad thing because those only lead to bad things. And that's not our experience. So there's lots of things that I've hoped for in the last year that have exceeded my expectations, but I forget them very quickly because I just normalize that experience as part of what is going on because our subconscious mind is biased toward the negative. We remember the bad things so that we can avoid them in the future. So we put too much weight on them. And if we spend too much time ruminating and staying stuck in disappointment, then it can be really easy for us to be caught in that spiral of, oh no, if I have hope, hope leads to not having it work out, which leads to pain, therefore I'm not going to hope. So I really encourage you right now to take some time and tap on the disappointments you're experiencing this year, because I know you've been experiencing disappointments this year, because this year has not gone as planned for anybody. This might be a really good one for you to bookmark, come back to, tap along to two or three times, take the script from the website, print it out, stick it somewhere. Or if you happen to have the Tapping Q&A app on your phone, you can go in there and tap along and read the script. It's always there with you all the time. If you found this tap along useful and you know someone in your life right now who's experiencing some disappointment, because I'm sure there are people you have talked to recently who are experiencing some disappointment, pass this along. Don't spam your inbox, but there might be one or two people who could really use something like this today that'll make a a difference for them in the world. And even if they don't listen to it, the simple fact that you've reached out and said, hey, I'm thinking of you. I know you're having a hard time. This might be a useful tool. The simple fact that you are reaching out might be the thing that they need to get through the disappointment of today. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe in parla- podcasting parlance is always free. Um, you can go to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon Music, Audible, basically anywhere and everywhere you find audio. If you just search tapping Q&A, you will find the show. It's absolutely free in all of those locations. Click subscribe, click follow, turn on the notifications so that every single time a new episode comes out, you are notified right away. So you can take a few moments and learn, take a few moments and tap. It'll make a difference for you. If you have a question, if you have a comment, if you have a topic you'd like us to cover in the future, please let me know. I can always be reached at Gene, G-E-N-E, at tappingqa.com. Some of the best topics, some of the best interviews I've done in the last couple of years had come from recommendations from listeners just like you. Please reach out. For the Tapping Q&A podcast, this is Gene Montrestelli. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you and tap with you again real soon. Bye-bye. The Tapping Q&A podcast is copyright Gene Monterostelli Tapping Q&A. All views expressed by guests are those of the guests and not necessarily of Gene Monterostelli and Tapping Q&A.